What's up, you guys? Gemma here, and back again for another video. And today, we're keeping it pretty simple on here. If I film in my living room, you guys are used to seeing piles and piles and piles and boxes of games. However, today, we're stripping it back and keeping it simple to talk about one thing, and that is essential Super Nintendo kind of package, base package, if you would. We're going to talk about games, we're going to talk about console bundles. I want to talk about peripherals and the reason I have bought some of these down, uh, the two joysticks you see here, we've got the Super Advantage Stick and the Score Master, um, is because I don't think I've shown them that much in videos, whereas on videos like this and this, um, you've seen pretty much everything with regards to um, Super Nintendo stuff that I own. Now I will say one thing, if you just, just, just before we dive into the games and look at any other kind of packages I want to talk about, Super Nintendo, as with many retro consoles, are renowned for reacting with the chemical bromine, which gives them those horrific pea stained yellow, kind of, if in most severe cases. Um, I have a guide to basically putting your console back to a near perfect state. Um, so it is a de yellowing tutorial, and guys, I will link it in the cards. Uh, but take a look for this thumbnail right here when you hit the cards, or if you're scrolling through the channel, so if you're suffering with. Um, or you want to buy, or you want to buy a Super Nintendo that is yellow, then definitely make sure you check that guide. So don't be put off and um, buy yellow consoles because there is an easy, easy fix. So without further ado, um, let's drop into it. Um, and then obviously let's share your comments below. If you don't have a Super Nintendo, let me know. But I will say this, a lot of you do message me and ask for recommendations. So this is why I just put this together. All right, guys, let's take a look. Okay, so here in the UK, uh, especially England, uh, there are a lot of retro game stores, a lot of retro game stores that you guys don't know about, and in them you will find some awesome Super Nintendo bundles. Now, obviously, it is a hell of a lot cheaper with the Super Nintendo to buy on box. It is considerably cheaper. It is shockingly cheaper. So I think you need to figure out what your expectations are, first and foremost, and ask whether or not you want box or unboxed. If I was going to buy a box, if I didn't have a Super Nintendo, if I was looking for a box console, I would go with the All Stars package. It goes for a top end of 140 quid, depending on exactly what you get in it. Um, you know, in terms of like your leaflets, warranty cards, even the bags that these things are wrapped in. Um, down to about, I've seen about 100 quid box, which is no bags, uh, maybe a yellow console, um, really kind of poor inlays, you know, the kind of the uh, the polystyrene. So it really depends. I would, I would, I have paid top end for an All Star Super Nintendo, 140 quid. I was less than pleased uh, because it didn't have everything in it. But nonetheless, it is what it is. So I would start with if you're looking for boxed All Stars, gives you the four games in one. And for me, you kind of can't go wrong with it really. And um, there are plenty of other boxed consoles out there, like the Star Wing edition. You've got the base package. I think there was Super Mario, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Street Fighter 2. There's absolutely loads, but personally for me, here in the PAL regions, like in the UK, um, I know the All Stars one is probably one of the more expensive, maybe secondary to Street Fighter 2 Turbo with your box consoles. Now, markedly so, an unboxed console, if you were to buy an unboxed console with a couple of controllers, um, no games, you probably look in. I would say in the region of 45 to 55 quid, 55 top end at push really, because you can buy you can buy quite a few Super Nintendos um, from sites if you didn't want to go to the shops um, with about two games for about 55, 60 quid. So again, it really does depend on what you're looking for. Um, in a, in a retro game shop, which I do like to support, I would happily pay 60 pound for a Super Nintendo console with one game and two controllers because again, you kind of perpetuate in local business um, and it's good for the shop as well. So, in terms of kind of essential games, I think I've mentioned there with All Stars, that is an absolute must. I think something like Super Mario World, anything with it, with your kind of your basic, say basic, your prime brands, Zeldas and Mario with the SNES. I think you can't go wrong. Blink to the Past is an absolute obvious one, but obviously it does cost a fair bit. Um, so I think again, when you're buying Super Nintendo stuff, and there's plenty of buying guides out there, uh, but it seems they seem to kind of jump light years ahead. Of, you know talk about peripherals that people don't really have access to. You know, the thing with this, something like this, is it's basic. 
um, you know, you have access to go and buy an All Stars package. There'll be plenty of these floating around online. Um, you know, nobody wants a super scope. No, you, you can't even play them unless you've got a CLT TV. So that's why I'm not talking about extended peripherals. Um, I think two controllers and an unbox console with maybe two or three games is ideal for your start package. Um, obviously, in terms of cables, uh, you can buy the uh, the the A B cables, which will upscale your picture, um, which quite significantly upscales actually on flat screens. I don't use CRT TVs; I use flat screens. Um, but otherwise, you can just have the regular the regular cables that came with them, which were used back in the day, um, which were quite ample at the time. Which were quite ample at the time. Um, so games then, I've mentioned the Mario's, the All-Stars, Super Mario World, Super Mario Kart, um, you know, Link to the Past is an absolute obvious one, but I think Starwing for me holds true, um, anything within the Street Fighter 2 family, Turbo is my absolute favourite, um, over anything on like the Sega Mega Drive, I think Street Fighter 2 on the, on the SNES was definitely at its peak compared to on the Sega Mega Drive colour palette. Frame rate seems to be a lot more stable. Um, I found like the moves a little bit easier to use because I think for me the Super Nintendo controller um, is a little bit more fluid um, compared to the Mega Drive controller. So you know, feel like your fighters and stuff. I think the SNES controller is definitely where it's at. Now I have bought these down, like I said. Um, I don't think these are essentials in the slightest. You'll see plenty of stuff on B-roll. Um, but I think, you know, if you're one of those collectors that feels you want to branch out a little bit, so stretching beyond the console, the two controllers and some games, definitely consider something like the Scoremaster. Um, we've also got the Super Advantage stick here as well. Now for me personally, I prefer the look, um, I prefer the look of the Scoremaster, I prefer the shape. I find this area here really easy just to rest your hands on, you know, if you're playing like Street Fighter or your Mortal Kombat. Um, there's more surface area here to rest your hand on, so it's actually a lot more comfortable. Whereas this one, the Super Advantage stick, which tends to be the more popular one if you if you look at other people's videos, um, there's not as much of a place to kind of rest your hand on. So you, my wrist, it, it hits on the on the corner here, on the beveled edge, and it hurts. Um, so just bear that in mind. And obviously, it doesn't look as nice. It's clunkier, but you know what? It does the trick. There's definitely more functions on this. Um, compared to this, which is a little bit more simplified. I think another thing that's important to consider, especially with the Super Nintendo, and this is something I go through quite a bit, um, I'm a Super Nintendo player and I'm a Super Nintendo collector, so sometimes I will buy multiple copies of games like sealed games. I don't have any sealed games for the Super Nintendo, but I would buy factory sealed games for the Super Nintendo, which I know people often find that are redundant because you want to play them, that's why I buy multiple copies. So some people frown at that, but for me, as a collector and a player, that really works because I'm so passionate about this console that to find something in a factory sealed state for me would be just absolutely amazing. A um, huge rush. Um, I love seeing that stuff. My dream item would be a Link to the Past sealed, factory sealed version. I would actually shed a tear if I could get hold of one of those things. Um, but yeah, I know there's loads floating around on eBay before everybody comments below. Um, but yeah, I think again, just kind of coming back to these, not essentials, but nice. Now I'll tell you what I've paid. I have a box, I have, this is my obviously my unboxed advantage stick. I have a box one as well. I think I paid, I think I got a real deal like way, way, way back. I got some games and the box version of this for 30 quid. A box super advantage stick will, will cost you a pretty penny. So if you're looking for your joysticks, don't bother with boxes. It's, it's just don't even bother, even as a collector, don't even bother. Um, but I wanted two of these, so I bought this, I think I paid 20 quid for this, I could be wrong, I think it was at a gaming market, I know I paid, I know I think it was quite out there, um, but the guy did give me quite a good deal, there's also an NTSC coloured version of this as well, haven't seen an NTSC version of the Scoremaster though, so if you're watching and you're in North America, um, do you have the Scoremaster, it, I, I don't know uh, going into this. Um, but I don't remember how much I paid for this. I, I think it was only about a tenner. So this again is a little bit cheaper than this. So bear that in mind, guys. So in terms of third-party controllers, then I'm not a fan. Um, if it was me going into it, wanting to buy a Super Nintendo bundle for the first time, I would probably be very put off by third-party controllers. I've never really had much luck with them. You may seem have a very different opinion. They look great, don't get me wrong. And again, they have some awesome features that the that the joysticks have. Slow motion, turbo, slow motion 2, turbo 2, you know, different kind of levels, um, different speeds. 
But for me, again, it's just not worth it. For me, you can, the, you know, the original Super Nintendo controllers are so easy to buy and so accessible these days that, that make sure, you know, you, you go in for like the original stuff. Again, the D yellowing tutorial will also work on the controllers as it will with this uh, console itself. So again, don't forget to check it out in the cards, guys. If you do come across a yellowed console, you can typically get a little bit knocked off the price. You know, if you're buying it from like a selling site, I wouldn't I haggle too much with shops um, because, you know, it is what it is. They have to make money too. But for people that are just wanting a quick sale on like a Facebook group or at a market, you can usually get £5 off. I've actually heard people haggling um, with this, particularly this front panel here, it tends to get quite yellow. I don't know what it is about this particular panel. Um, I've heard people asking for like 5 10 quid off at markets, no joke. Um, and typically people will consider knocking that bit of money off, so bear it in mind again. Um, but yeah, 9 times out of 10, these things tend to be well looked after. But let me know in the comment section below um, what you think an unboxed console is worth as it stands with maybe two controls and the wires. And what you think an unboxed console might be worth with your baseline games such as Super Mario All-Stars and maybe Mario World uh, bundled in. So fortunately, the Super Nintendo has plenty of games for us to get our teeth into. I haven't, you know, we, we haven't even paid homage to things like Earthworm Jim, um, the Mortal Kombat, which again, are fabulous games, really good staple titles for the Super Nintendo. But there are tons out there. Pilot Wings is another really good one, but I did put out a video actually, again, I will link it in the cards. Look for this thumbnail right here, um, because it was um, three Super Nintendo games you must play. There's a playlist of games you must play in the description. If you're getting a little bit stuck and want some ideas, go and check it out. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Good luck when you're out there buying. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I, if you are still here, make sure you hit like and subscribe. It is free, of course. Um, and again, I just can't thank you enough for supporting my content. So um, have a great day, guys. I'm not quite sure what day this video is going out, but Thanks, just, you know, thanks. And I love the Super Nintendo. I've said it before, I've said it again. It has been a great year for Nintendo and I'm just elated that they've made such a powerful comeback with the Switch this year and the Super Nintendo Mini and there's loads of cool stuff floating around and everybody now again is enjoying this console, whether it's in the original format or with the SNES Mini and I just think that is awesome. So guys, I'm gonna leave it there. Have a good one. My name is Joe. take care. See you soon.